بعد صدور الحكم على الرئيس السابق محمد حسني مبارك وعلى اعوان حبيب العدلي وحاله الجدل الكبيره جدا اللي انتشرت في الشارع المصري وتبعيا نتائج الانتخابات كان في طبيعي ردود فعل غاضبه وكان في مطالبات بوجود حلول لهذه الازمه من ضمن هذه الحلول او المطالبات هو وجود اتحاد ما بين الثلاثة مرشحين اللي لم يحالفهم الحظ ان هم يوصلوا للمرحلة النهائية او مرحلة الاعادة، وكان الحقيقة الموضوع دوت في جدل كبير جدا، هل يكون مجلس هل يكون اتحاد؟ هل يكون مجلس رئاسي بالاتفاق مع الرئيس القادم؟ اوبشنز كتيرة او اختيارات كتيرة جدا، من ضمن المرشحين والداعمين لهذه الفكرة ويمكن كان من اوائل المقترحين لهذا الموضوع من خلال سايت وبلوج بيت الحوار على الانترنت و على الاوساط السياسيه بعد كده هو ضيفنا النهارده، الحقيقه ضيفنا النهارده هو بيقدم او بيكون معانا لاول مره على اي محطه فضائيه عربيه ومصريه تحديدا في اول لايف فيرست اكسكلوسيف انترفيو على النايل لايف هو الحقيقه مبعوث البرلمان الاوروبي في الشرق الاوسط والمعني بهذا الامر تحديدا، النهارده هيكون معانا استاذ كارت دوباف صباح الخير. صباح النور. هاو ار يو صباح الخير؟ صباح النور. هاو از ايفريثينج؟ سو ثانك يو. First of all, we'd like to know about uh, your idea about how to save the revolution, which is basically your proposal. Hmm. I would first like uh, to apologize. I'm not speaking Arabic. No. To the okay. um, I think um, right now it's uh, time to, 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 to cooperate, to work together. I mean, uh, because everyone who has been in revolution for, uh, for this year mm -hmm. is a kind of disappointed with the choice which is the choice right now uh, between Shafiq which is for former government and uh, uh, Morsi which is for m many seculars also not the best choice. So what to do? And I think they, they should stop uh, with, with, with shouting and start to negotiate. Negotiate a package that gives them power in the next presidency. And this was I, eventually your idea about the un united or the uh, unity between the three candidates, right? Yeah, my initial idea was that uh, that those who lost should finally. Why did they lose? Because they didn't work together. Mm. It was in the parliamentary elections, and it was now. So if they work now together and they go to one candidate, they can ask whatever, because they are strong because they have 50% of the votes together. Mm -hmm. So and that's what they should do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Uh, the initial proposal was to ask half of the power to any candidate, but after the trial of Mubarak and with Tahrir now, I think it's a new thing. So I think the three main candidates should just form a team and go to the elections with a common program. That's what I would like to suggest. But, but they would go to the elections, I mean, as, as candidates to the two remaining repeating uh, sides of the election, which is Dr. Morsi and Shafiq, or they would go for the winning side and then they form together the team no, with the no, winner no because this is a very important note no no you have to choose before the elections because if you don't choose before the elections it's a it's 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 no guarantee so you have to make a deal before the elections say we support this candidate mm -hmm. he promises this deal and we are going after elections to do this what are the commitments for this agreement well i mean you talk about everything before the elections. Mm. I mean, you talk who is going to be vice president, who is, or second pri vice president, who is going to be prime minister, who is going to do what, and so forth. Mm. You make a complete package, mm -hmm. and then you say, then we support you. Mm -hmm. I mean, after elections, if you say, oh, I didn't know about anything, it's going to be a revolution again, be it against Shafiq, or be it against uh, Morsi. And if it, Ikhwan would do this, mm -hmm. they already lost a lot of percentage because they broke promises, it's going to be the end of Ikhwan as a political force. What about the constitution? I mm. mean, at the very end of the day, what uh, the, the, the president is only obliged to confide or to uh, mm. follow the constitution. Mm. So why are we doing papers and agreements when there is a constitution that should decide mm. exactly what the president should and should not abide to? Mm. I think there are three things. First of all, the declarations and amendments of the army made the constitution very vague mm. right now. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the constitution is made under military rule, under Sadat. Mm -hmm. and so if there's a revolution right now and you're going to write a new constitution, mm -hmm. I mean, why 
as revolutionaries would you say we still follow the constitution of Sadat and Mubarak? No, I don't, I mean, I don't I understand. Mean, no, but I mean, so supposedly we have been hearing for the past couple of days and for the past couple yes. of weeks actually from the SCAF that there is a new constitutional amendment that should specify the roles of the next president. No, it's not up to, I mean, if you're at the end of your power, you should not do this. It's a new constitutional committee who will say what the next president is going to do. Mm -hmm. and not before elections, it's going to be after elections. Mm -hmm. Constitution is one package, not one sentence you pick out. So why, sh why should not such a deal be amended through the, consti the new constitution? Why should it be an individual or a separate agreement? No, 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 no. You take a political deal now, which is we're going to get, make sure the revolution and the mm -hmm. demands of the revolution, which is democracy, tolerance and so forth, so that they come in place mm -hmm. and then we'll make a new constitution with all groups in Egypt. Mm. Okay. I just would like to add, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll, now they talk about a constitution, mm. but was the revolution in Tahrir, was it constitutional? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Was the SCAF, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the power of the SCAF, is it constitutional? No. I mean, we, we're going to new times, so we, we need new thinking and mm -hmm. that's important, I think. Uh, there was, though there wasn't a direct feedback to you, to your proposal, but there was uh, public and, and, and official feedback as how to unite between the three candidates mm. uh, throughout the last couple of days in the conference and in Tahrir and in their talks. Yet, nothing happened really. Mm. Why do you think is that? I think there are two problems. I think they do not agree on, on, on this presidential council would proposed by some would mean cancelling the elections. Mm. And I agree with those who are against this. Mm. This is, you can't have a revolution and then cancelling democracy. I mm. mean, uh, this you have to go to election. That, I think. Yes, exactly. Yes. It's a coup d'etat against democracy, as Amr Hamzawi said. I agree. Mm -hmm. So you have to go through elections as the first point of discussion, mm -hmm. where Omid did not agree. Secondly, um, in Egypt, too many people want to become president. Mm. And uh, I think right now you have to uh, stop your ego and start working in team and it's very difficult I see but uh, and do you think this is still the case even though they actually lost yeah interesting so basically what do you think and how do you see Europe's role right now at this stage specifically in Egypt well I think Europe should stay out of the elections uh, it I mean it's up to the Egyptians what they will do now uh, mm. so we're just stay out mm -hmm. but whoever wins the next election mm -hmm. uh, I think Europe should come in with all support mm -hmm. and, 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 and investments and so forth. So I think that's important. Mm -hmm. I think uh, after elections and you go to the next stage, then we should support and whatever we, we, we can do, because uh, we must admit uh, as European Union that uh, we have done not enough in the past, uh, I think, to support revolution and democracy here. You have not done enough? No, at all. Okay, that's, that's only fair for you to, to admit that. Mm. Uh, سألته هو دائما بما انه شغله معني بالشرق الاوسط وهو بالربيع العربي وهو يعتبر ممثل للليبرالز او الليبراليين الاوروبيين وممثل للبرلمان الاوروبي والاتحاد الاوروبي بشكل عام في المنطقه uh, دائما في مقالاته بيكتب في الاخر كده جزء عن والله انا شايف اوروبا المفروض تعمل ايه في الموضوع ده المفروض كان يبقى دور اوروبا ايه في القصه ديت هو بقى قال انا سألته قلت له طب انت شايف موضوع او دور اوروبا دلوقتي في المرحله اللي احنا فيها في مصر دي ايه فقال مفروض على مدى العملية الانتخابية والحد ما تعلن النتيجة مفروض أوروبا تبقى ما لهاش دعوة خالص stay out of the election بلكوش دعوة بالانتخابات لكن أول ما يبقى فيه اختيار وأول ما يبقى فيه رئيس يجب أن يكون هناك دور فاعل لأوروبا ودول الاتحاد الأوروبي في مصر بمعنى استثمارات بمعنى دعم للعملية البناء وعملية إعادة بناء الدولة المصرية بعد الثورة وبعد الأحداث اللي حصلت خصوصا وده اعتراف يحترم جدا منه الحقيقة أنه هو شايف أن دول الاتحاد الأوروبي لم يكن لها دور فعال ودور مهم في الثورات العربية وفي المرحلة اللي فاتت في الشرق الأوسط Why do you think so? اخر سؤال معلش Why do you think so? Why do you think there was no, they didn't have a role in the, uh, in the Arab Spring? Oh no, I mean, uh, a lot of Egyptians believe in uh, conspiracy theories and that we Europeans were uh, doing whatever. No, there was no European strategy, there was no European interference, there was nothing. We were but there was late. an American strategy. Uh, I even doubt that, I even doubt that. So, uh, but I can't, I'm not Americans, I don't know. Mm. So, but I doubt it. Mm -hmm. But 
from European side, they only reacted when it was over. Okay. So, so, so we were not okay. there. 